grown food is good, important, and most of the time tasty, right? Every day, we all eat about three meals a day, but we never reflect on what we are eating. Consumers and suppliers both play a role in what we eat. Both of us settle for what we know, feel comfortable with, and what we think is easier. But is this true? Or is buying locally grown food healthier, greener, and easier? And should you as the consumer start investing in this new organic trend? We know that the fresh produce from a local farm travels a minimum distance to get to us. It allows you to know your farmer and have a vested interest in his or her success. It allows you to know where your food comes from and how it is made, and it allows you to interact with your community while helping the local economy and eating healthier. But in such a fast-paced society and tough economic times, is buying locally grown food a viable option for everyone? Should we not just settle for the cheaper and seemingly more readily available food from the large industries? There is a reason why buying locally grown food is a growing trend in Montreal. More and more people are reaching out for a healthier option and contacting local farmers. Even restaurants and supermarkets are getting involved. Standing here at the corner of aisle 1 and 2 of a local supermarket, we do not see any locally grown food signs from one product to the next. This is because supermarkets do not advertise what is grown locally and what is industry produced. We asked the manager of this particular grocery store about where their food comes from, but he refused to get interviewed and for us to film in his store and told us that all the information was on the packaging. What we noticed is that often the locally grown produce is mixed in with the industry food and is hard to identify because although all the products say they are packed locally, only few indicate they are actually grown locally. It is also important to note that because the local food was mixed in right next to the industry stuff, there was surprisingly no price difference. After spending the time to really look at the difference between local and industry food in this supermarket, we thought best to show the difference between two tomatoes. This tomato is industry made. It is hard, big, and a little bit discolored. This tomato is ripe, just picked, and red as a tomato. I am here with Ronald, a local Montreal farmer, to ask him about the process of how he gets his food onto our plates. So, Ronald, can you tell us a little bit about how that happens? Growing season, we bring here to this local outdoor market, which we can sell fresh and less expensive than in the grocery store. So there you have it. We've done our research, we've gone to the market, we've gone to the grocery store, and we've found that supporting locally grown foods is very important. Though not everyone can or wants to live exclusively off these products, we can all do our part to buy some produce from locally grown food markets. Consuming food that we can get answers about is crucial. As we have investigated this matter, the mysteries surrounding the made food industry, outlined specifically from movies such as Food Inc., we personally are not interested in eating food that was produced in an environment so terrible that they won't even show on film. And you shouldn't either. Eating local foods is easy. You walk up to the farmers at the market and you can simply ask them about the way their food was produced. And you can even choose to visit their farms. We all want to be healthier and this is an easy and viable way to take a step in the right direction. The fact that you can actually interact with the people who grow the food you eat allows for a trust-based relationship. You can give your feedback on the products and the farmers actually care and want to make changes to please you, like what you want them to grow. It is also much more encouraging to know that your money is being given to farmers that you personally interact with. Since good relationships can develop when you buy locally grown foods, it is like supporting a friend's own business and getting great food in return. We rather give our money to a known person than to a large, closed-door corporation. Basically, to us, buying locally grown food is an easy choice to make. Even students like us can replace some grocery store foods by locally grown food products. So try it. And you will see, as we have, 
It's good both health and taste-wise, and it feels great to be part of a community movement.